So that's why Mexican jumping beans jump. And why golf courses are called links. Oops, <laughs> just catching up on some things. Hi, I'm Cal Anderson, host of the Weekly Wrap, where we talk about the week's news through newspapers, weeklies, dailies, and some online publications. Now, usually I have a guest, but scheduled today was Ward 5 Consular Diana Chikudis. And this week she had some pressing family, mem uh, family matters, so I said, let's just rebook you in a few weeks. So she's going to. A couple of other people are going to come in today, but they're running a little late. And it's important today because we have some good news. We have to be on time today because at the end of the day, the station shuts down for a week of upgrades. Now, this is very exciting because um, you probably know about the spiffy new studios at 181 Union Street. And now they're going to be closing down next week and we're going to be in a week of reruns, best ofs, and if you call the station, maybe they'll run some of your personal favorites because they're going to be upgrading the entire production um, studios, uh, control room, and upgrading so we can give you better and even better TV. Um, I've got some things to talk about today, regardless of whether we have a guest. So, Saturday's paper, May 6th, the water rises in Lynn. Now, this is important to know because we haven't had a price increase in two years, but because of some upgrades being made necessary for the separation project between the um, uh, storm drain water and the sewage, they're going to be raising, I think it's going to matter to uh, amount to about $14 for an average household over the course of a year. So we still got the best water around and we're still going to be reasonable priced. Um, another couple of things that we're talking about this week. Last Monday, you might have picked up the daily item and noticed that on Monday, May 8th, this guy was featured. This is Walter Day. Now, he lives in Lynn, and he's known throughout the industry for being the first one to start actually keeping score of video games. And the high scores, who's got them, this and that. In fact, he started this system, and now the Guinness Book of World Records treats him as the go-to guy and... Um, Really, he's the uh, video game results guy. And he was made famous because in the animated Disney film Wreck-It Ralph, you'll recognize the white and black striped shirts he wears because there's a character in there called Litwack, Mr. Stan Litwack. And everybody at Disney says, yes. Walter Day of Lynn was the inspiration. So welcome to Lynn, uh, welcome, welcome to Walter Day, and um, thanks for putting Lynn on the map again. Tuesday, GE and North Shore Community College equal a bright future. GE made no secret last year, saying that they're proud to move their national headquarters to South Boston. Mayor Walsh was wooing them, everybody was hoping they would come in, etc. This also means that there's going to be a coattailing effect because North Shore Community College says we are one of the incubators for a lot of the talent you're going to need to staff and run your company in the future. So, um, personally, I wish that they had kind of maybe taken some of the land that they have already in Lynn and built their new world, world headquarters there. But at least we're going to be having some cooperation uh, with them. Now, Wednesday, another f uh, local person known for some famous things. This is former Mayor Tom Coston. He's always been talked about as being probably John F. Kennedy, a former and late president's best friend in Lynn. Now, here's a little bit of an article about how that happened. It goes back to JFK's first congressional races. And there's an interesting thing because there's going to be a program calling, coming up at Lynn Arts called Jack and Tom, the um, fr friendship that J Tom Coston had with former President JFK. So you can see more about this on the websites and um, uh, information um, calendars. Let's see, Mother's Day is Sunday, don't forget, or actually please remember. Now, Thursday, the Profile and Courage Awards are being given to some Lynn Middle Schoolers, and that's good, speaking of John F. Kennedy. And you know, the season's coming. Swimming, boating, 
um, seaside recreation. And here's somebody getting a head start on it. I don't know if he paddle boards, but he's got an unusual way of doing it. This is Eric Brown. Um, and, and he has a skateboard. I guess they call them a longboard if they're longer than a skateboard. And he paddles with it up and down Lynn Shore Drive um, uh, between here and Nahant using his stick to post it. So it's almost to push it. It's almost like the um, pedal boards, but this is done with wheels. I think that's pretty clever. Let's see, there was something else on Thursday. Oh, yes. Last week we observed ride, uh, take your bike to school week, and Lynn was no exception. Um, here's a bunch of them parked at one of the schools. Everybody was encouraged to um, ride their bike as alternatives to uh, school buses, etc. Always just wear your helmet, maintain the rules of the road. Let's see, I think we've got another couple things here. Oh yes, today's paper, Friday, May 12th. Beginning a jump on the jobs at Lynn Tech. There's all kinds of talent coming out of Lynn Tech, including these two who are hoping for internships in the television industry. Now, I hope you apply here at LCTV because this is your station. Another thing is this is a push for a second charter school in Lynn. That's coming up. And good news, $1.5 million this year being earmarked. You're going to smell the tar and hear the jackhammers this summer as they rebuild a lot of Lynn's roads. This, what is it, Chapter 9, 90 funding comes in from the state every year. The state delegation did a good job of getting more than last year. So we're very pleased about that. Now, we're going to wrap up here. I just want to mention that uh, you're going to be seeing some things pretty soon. Um, the signs are starting to go up. The uh, lighting is going in, and the Beyond Walls project in illuminating and making downtown Lynn exciting is underway. So keep watching for those. Um, next week, we're going to be doing the um, rerun week. Now, that doesn't mean that we're not still open and ready for phone calls coming to have people come in and see if they want to join. Um, it's the uh, year, uh, it's the time of year to get some interns on board, etc. And this could be your show. So if you want, you can come down and just sign up and see what they have for you. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, yes, the drought might be over, but until you see those lines at the reservoirs up where they're supposed to be, don't take it for granted. We're going to need uh, still those conservation measures that we've learned over the past year or two. Uh, these rains have been beneficial, uh, not just in New England, but Seems like California's drought is over too, but we can't be complacent. We learned how to be conservative and let's continue it. So that's um, just my message, personal message, because um, we just have to all do our part. So um, another thing, we've got about a 30 seconds left, in the wonder box. It's the time of year mosquitoes are coming out, especially after a rainy spring, the standing water around. What we should be doing is going around emptying out those buckets filled with water, maybe empty uh, out the tires that are sitting around filled with water. And one of the best things you can do is wear mosquito repellent coils. Now, these smell like citronella. So you just take them out wear them, they create about a four foot buffer zone around you that just repels mosquitoes. And every year it seems like there's more insect borne diseases to watch out for. Everything from Triple E to, um, uh, well, what else, whatever. Uh, anyway, prevention is the best thing to do. It's the time of year. So um, I think it's time to wrap this up. We're gonna be having some, uh, um, fresh guests over the next few weeks, um, next week's reruns of course, but coming back after that we're going to start off with, um, I forget who's coming up next, but um, anyway, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you keep aware of what's going on by reading newspapers on yourself. Uh, yourself. And until next time, in every day, every day and in every way, keep loving Lynn!